so the thyroid and the cricoid are mainly of the hyaline variety so that means they have a tendency to get uh, ossified whereas the epiglottis is of elastic cartilage or uh, to be more precise it is fibroelastic in nature with respect to the pad cartilages uh, you have the arytenoid cartilage okay so that is a pair of arytenoid cartilage you have this arytenoid cartilage is again partly cut, uh, hyaline and partly elastic in nature so the apex and also the one of the process the ocal process is of the elastic nature uh, whereas the remaining part of the arytenoid cartilage is actually uh, hyaline in nature then we have two more small cartilages pair of corniculate cartilage and then the cuneiform cartilage so they are mainly seen here in the posterior part of the airy epiglottic fold and also uh, what you are able to see here this is the thyrohyoid membrane which is thickened uh, posterior laterally so you are able to see a nodular cartilage and a rod shaped cartilage they here you are able to see on top of the arytenoid you will have the corniculate and then that should be your cuneiform cartilages so corniculate cuneiform and epiglottis are all elastic type of cartilage whereas your thyroid and the cricoid cartilage so that is the anterior aspect and that is the posterior aspect so the cricoid cartilage is of hyaline type of cartilage and your arytenoid is uh, some parts are actually elastic and the remaining are hyaline in nature so now try to understand each of the cartilages one by one so the first cartilage which you are seeing here is the <coughs> thyroid cartilage it is the largest cartilage of the larynx and it is like a shield so both the lamina what happens it is like a protective shield and because deep to it you have the other uh, part of the cartilage and cavity of the larynx uh, deep to it so since it is protects like a shield so that is why it is like a shield like cartilage and each uh, thyroid cartilage has got a lamina so you have two laminas and they are joined anteriorly at an angle that is called as the angle of thyroid cartilage okay or the laryngeal prominence now this laryngeal prominence is uh, very very prominent in case of the adult males and called as the adam's apple because after or during the time of puberty there is a sudden spurt of growth in the larynx and uh, the angulation increases it is about uh, 90 degree so very deep angle you have and that is mainly responsible for the deep voice in case of the males whereas in case of the females and in children the angle between the two lamina of the thyroid cartilage is around 120 degrees an obtuse angle so you don't have a very what do you call deep angle here and because of that what happens the voice of the children and females is somewhat uh, high pitched okay this is actually the upper border where the two lamina meet is actually called as the thyroid notch or the superior thyroid notch if you look at the each lamina it has got a three borders mainly one upper or superior border and then the, what you see is the inferior border and 